I want to touch on uh, the FSG reshuffle a little bit as well, because you've been right across this in recent times. And as I get, as I mentioned um, earlier on, it's water all these days in football circle. Though we want to know everything that's going on behind the scenes and beyond. Certainly, a lot of people do, myself included. Um, Billy Hogan um, it seems to have a bit of a shift in role as well. And I think the public uh, the publicisation of Liverpool's pursuit of Michael Edwards is playing a really interesting part in all this as well. So we'll come on to that in a moment. But just explain, if you can, sort of what's going on at FSG. Because I think Theo Epstein took a role recently as well. There's moving parts, it feels like. Not necessarily always related to Liverpool, but there's definitely moving parts within that organisation. Well, it's a, it's a company which always has to try and plan for what's next because the two men at the top are in their mid-70s. So um, it's about um, adding energy and new ideas at, at the top level. Now, there's a tendency, I think, to think about this um, Billy Hogan shift as uh, kind of mirroring what happened with Mike Gordon uh, towards the end when he kind of stepped away from his, his involvement with Liverpool day-to-day. That was seen as being a start of kind of the uncertainty and the lack of strategy maybe um, during that period of, of last season. Um, in reality, I think it's, for the time being, I think it's largely title. Um, it was said in the, so they have this partners meeting every single year and they've kind of rewarded long service and um, and doing a good job and success with these two new roles. Um, Sam Kennedy remains CEO and president of the Boston Red Sox while Billy Hogan remains CEO of Liverpool and, and People in Boston told me that it was nothing changes in terms of his day to day. Now it might be hard to to believe that because how can you not have more time pressures? But in in reality, you know the the time pressures of it. There's, there is a huge army of people that work at Liverpool um, on the day to day, you know, function of the football club. Um, it's the key decisions and strategic direction which kind of falls on the shoulders of the CEO. Um, now Billy Hogan has been named CEO of FSG International now. It doesn't take long to look through FSG's international portfolio to realise it only consists of Liverpool. Um, so, you know, that maybe it's a, it's a kind of precursor to um, them acquiring more European, um, I'm not going to say football clubs, but um, IP, so intellectual property. So I think that's the way. I, don't, I'm, I can't see more football clubs in FSG's future. I just can't. So not in Europe. I think they find the challenges of it at the moment. And it's also not a great time to buy. I mean, prices are high. Um, everyone's trying to figure out and monetize these clubs. And they already own one of the greatest assets in world football. So unless they're going to find synergies with Liverpool, I can't see it. But um, Hogan's role will just be, I think, sitting in and advising on more strategic decisions, which are outside of Liverpool as well. So um, potentially things where they look at acquisitions um, of other property, mm-hmm. um I'm trying to find synergies across the management which exists in Pittsburgh and Boston uh, and things like that. And they also got, they needed a change, a kind of a reshuffle because they had to, so Sam Kennedy's probably going to have a more of a say on this PGA Tour investment, the strategic sports investment they did, which FSG led on. Billy Hogan might have some thoughts about that. But from what I can gather, it's going to be a case of he's still Liverpool CEO for the, for the long term and they don't really envision that changing just as, as Sam Kennedy's role hasn't changed. Um, and I know the Michael Edwards thing becomes really interesting to people as, as is this what they're priming him for? Um, I mean, this is personal point of view mixed with some um, some conversations I've had, but I, I just don't, I don't see Michael Edwards coming back to Liverpool um, purely because I think he is on a, a different journey. It depends what they can offer him. So, Theo Epstein left FSG in 2011 to go to the Chicago Cubs for a, a different role, different challenge. Um, then he moved into private equity to become an advisor for Arctos. Now, Theo Epstein was effectively the man that John Henry turned to when he couldn't get Billy Bean um, in 2003. Um, that scene in Moneyball in the film where kind of, um, they uh, they sit down and John Henry's character is trying to... Um, do a deal with Billy Bean and it doesn't happen. Um, so they turned to Theo Epstein, who turned out to be absolute golden boy. Um, and in order to get him back, they've given him equity in the company. So now he's a minority stakeholder in FSG and its entire portfolio. Now, I don't know what Michael Edwards wants to do with his, his future, whether he becomes to be um, just become rich or whether he wants to become build something from the ground up. So he's involved in Ludonautics with Ian Graham, this data analytics firm which they set up last year. Um, which is advising certain football clubs. I think Bolton Wanderers is one of them. Um, 
but obviously they've got big plans for that uh, and maybe having ownership of his day to day and working in different environments, not just Liverpool, is, is what appeals. Um, but I think I, I just don't think I just don't find it all meshing together unless they offer a real carrot of, I don't know, maybe equity or or a huge or, or a real plum role. But I, I, he's not. I don't think he's becoming CEO of the football club or anything like that. So um, that that remains Billy Hogan's role. Um, but that's my that's my two pence worth on that. Thank you so very, very much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, drop a like. Uh, the season is now well underway. If you need extra Red Men content, be it podcasts, videos, documentaries, interviews, and general shows, fill your boots on redmenplus.com today.